Saturday, October 17th. We are headed to Odessa. Odessa? Odessa. And we are on our way. So, yeehaw. We're in Texas. Yeehaw. We're getting to the. What is that? The, the Boondocks here in West Texas. Which is going to be interesting because there is nothing out there. <laughs> Some coyotes, a couple of scorpions. Yeah, the reviews on our next website said something about uh, just be careful where you're walking because you could see some snakes. Ew. I'm not fond of snakes. So we pulled into the Mosquito Oasis, and some of the park was very nice. Oh, Mike forgot the trash from Weatherford. He stuck it in the back seat, but that's okay. Back to Odessa. Our spot we set up pretty quickly. It wasn't exactly what we had expected. There were some really nice areas, but unfortunately we weren't necessarily in one of those nice areas. Um, there was trash all over the ground, little, little things. Lots of toothpickers, you know, if you need to floss on the go. And this was our view. So Mike and I both decided that it was gonna be best for us to spend the night and then we would be on our way the next morning to La Cruces, New Mexico. So bright and early the next morning, we decided we were out of Odessa. It's really good. Ugh, stinks. is one thing West Texas has, it's a lot of land. It just kept going and going. It was quite a long trek, a lot of trains, whole lot of trains, a lot of really long trains, and... Good morning from outside of Odessa, Texas. Got my mask on, actually I have two masks on. What are we smelling, Mike? We are smelling West Texas oil, or whatever is coming out of the land out here. Please. There is more drakes or mini drilling rigs than you can freaking shake a stick at. This place is pretty interestingly sad. Um, but yeah, the smell is horrendous. It smells like... Uh, rotten eggs mixed with some chemicals, sprinkle on a little bit of cancer causing agents. It's bad. Hey, is that solar over there? <laughs> Wouldn't that be interesting? Mike wants to know if there's solar in oil country. Oh, wait, I'm losing them. That'd be a funny juxtaposition. Let's look. yet but it feels good I turned on my left turn signal in plenty of time there's not a whole lot of traffic going by okay. now I just got to figure out how far I am so. far. you can look at the shadow between you and him thank you hey I did it All right. as we got closer to El Paso the land formations really started to change and it wasn't flat anymore El Paso was huge and our my phone thought we were in Mexico. We were actually just about to get to New Mexico, which is one of those states we had never been to, so we were really excited and couldn't wait to see what New Mexico had to offer. Our next stop was the Hacienda RV Resort, and it was time for Mike to pull out a new sticker to add to our map. Once we were all set up, Mike had some time to talk to Ita, which was very nice. This was our little space for the week. 
and we had caught that sun once again. So the next day, we decided we were going to head out. We had a great view of the Oregon Mountains. Here they are again. And as we went walking through the town, I spotted my first tumbleweed, which I was very excited about. We found these really interesting green balls that Kyle and Kelsey told us were Osage oranges, which I didn't know they were edible because we could have eaten them. There were tons of chili peppers everywhere we looked. After a short two mile walk, we made it to the town of La Masia. The Plaza de La Masia centers around the Catholic church as do many Latino heritage areas. There was shopping and many Southwestern architectural details that predated the 1800s. It was really amazing to see these buildings still totally intact and being used today. And what better to make 17th century architecture look better? Just add Mike. Just kidding, honey. <laughs> Sorry, I needed a segue. The other really cool thing about Le Mesilla is that, well, one, I could touch the top of this door frame, and two, this was the building in which Billy the Kid was tried and sentenced to hang. There was just too much to see. We had to come back and we had to try a margarita at La Posta de Masia, which was really good. Just saying. And the Mexican food was better than anything we've ever had. And like many places around the world, the farm to table movement is very big here. And Walmart serves liquor. Let me say that again. Walmart has liquor. So after a little too much alcohol from Walmart, Mike took a siesta. And that afternoon we went to White Sands National Park. This place was absolutely magical. 267,000 acres of white gypsum sand. It's hard to tell from these pictures, but these dunes were actually huge. A lot of families could be seen around the park with toboggans sliding down all of the hills. Oh, I think you just saw one. It was a Vermont in January, but it's New Mexico in October. It's warm, I'm happy. At White Sands National Park, scientists have been discovering footprints from ancient animals for quite a long time. But in 2018, researchers discovered what they believe to be footprints of a woman and her toddler. They know it was a toddler because from time to time you would see tracks of the toddler, his footprints or her footprints, beside the mother. Pretty neat stuff. If you're ever in Le Cruces, White Sands National Park is to not be missed. And you might just see our initials garden sand. We really enjoyed our time at Hacienda RV Resort and we actually got a lot of work done. So if you are ever in Lake Cruces, you might just want to stop here. Check out the Oregon Mountains and have a great time. Just watch out for the prickly pears in New Mexico. They have really sharp spikes. Join us next week as we journey to Tucson, Arizona. I'm so excited. This is Kathy from Chapter 3 RV, Chasing Sunshine. We hope you're doing well. Take care.